Yo, hola. We just picture thinking, dreaming, scheming. Reading all in the late night, shaking, boiling, lacing, baking, shaping, shaving. Gotta get this cake right as I serve it. You just burn it, breathe it, learn it. Now watch you take flight. How does it feel? Huh? Welcome fans to 2K Sports Tuesday night presentation of NBA basketball. This is Kevin Harlan. Mark Kellogg and Steve Kerr by my side. Doris Burke will be reporting from the sidelines. The Detroit Pistons preparing to defend home court in this Eastern Conference battle. Victory eluded them last time in Atlanta when they faced the Hawks. That game left them at 1-2 and in head-to-head meetings so far. Well, with the number of turnovers they had in that game, guys, it was going to be an uphill battle all the way. Well, especially, Steve, when you couple the turnovers with the soft defense they were playing. I mean, that's a bad combination. Turning it over and then not defending. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. Champ is in at the point. On the wings, Corver and Carroll. Elton Brand is out there with Horford. Here's Meeks. Five to shoot. Jennings with the bucket. And a lot of times, his first quarter seems to dictate how big of a role he plays later on. And he's off to the good start. Brandon Jennings, you remember, decided to play a year in Italy right out of high school rather than to go to college. He was the first guy to do that once the NBA implemented that you know, one year out of high school requirement for the draft. Shots good from Chen. Superb assist there. He played the role of the maestro on that one. Atlanta on D. They put up a nice win against the Bucks the last time out. I'll tell you what jumped off the page to me, guys. The firepower off the bench. I and mean, that's what really, I think, led them to that victory. Well, there was that energy boost factor, we call it. You can't rely on that kind of scoring coming from the reserves every game. But it was there for them that night. And Atlanta has possession. Josh Smith unable to get his shot to go. Corver kicks to Horford. Goes up the baseline. And it's off the back rim. No good. Boy, we don't see that too often. No defender on him, and he just clanks the open jumper. Outside Jennings. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. The Detroit Pistons, a proud franchise, of course, from 03 to 08. Six consecutive trips to the Eastern Conference Finals. Mm -hmm. And Clark in 2004, the NBA title. But the rebuild process has had its hiccups, Kevin. Yeah. Speed bumps, if you will. Some questionable free agent signings. There's talent there, but this team hasn't quite figured out how to come together. And you look at the Pistons, some great size and athleticism inside, but you know, they've lacked the high percentage outside shooting to space the floor offensively. And, you know, for the Pistons last season, you look at the size and shot-blocking ability, and you thought that team would be tougher defensively. But that wasn't really the case. I think it has to be attributed to mindset. Those young, big, athletic guys have to become much tougher mentally at the defensive end to be really successful. And stolen by Horford. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. Carroll's running. Here's Corver. No luck. Great D that time from Jennings. Well, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite fight his way through track. Drummond the screen. Smith outside. It's back to Jennings. Shot clock at six. Blocked. Another shot. Rebounded by the Hawks. And you got to like the defense inside, really protecting the rim. Challenging shots and making his presence felt around the rim, that's exactly what he can give you. How about that? Gets it off right in the face of the big fella. Quick release. And operating on the perimeter like that negates some of the height disadvantage, too. Now here's Jennings, hoping to put that miserable performance against Miami behind him tonight. From 12 feet out, and misses it off the right side of the rim. And they're now one for five to start this game, so having trouble finding any offensive rhythm. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. The Hawks shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. Two shots. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. So Brand nails both of them. Hawks coach Mike Budenholzer 
grew up around the game. His father coached high school and college basketball for 25 years, and Mike got into coaching pretty much immediately after graduating from college. Sounded like a guy who knew what he wanted to do. For Atlanta, they've gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Corver, good. Gotta love the use of the bounce pass there. Perfect feed. The Pistons have gotten only one of six shots to drop for them to start this game. The drive by Jennings, and it's blocked. Ouch. Another miss to add to what's been a miserable game for him from the field. Carroll passes to Chen, puts one up from 19, and again it's Atlanta. Pistons trail by six. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Detroit's head coach and I got a chance to talk for a bit. According to him, their focus defensively is going to be on making things difficult inside. Ideally, they'll be in the best shape, he feels, if they force most of the shots against them to come from the perimeter. Guys? Thank you, Doris. Here is Corver following the basket by Brandon Jennings. No good from Chen. And for the Pistons, they're shooting a mere 25% from the floor in this first quarter. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. Here's Carroll. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. That one on Monroe. Atlanta shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And as a club, they're kind of in the middle of the pack in the NBA in terms of their free throw shooting. Best way to shoot the rock. Off, so no major concern. Here's what Detroit's going with. A new group now out there. And Atlanta will go for a different look here. Al Horford, he's checked in for Millsap. Brand comes in for Mike Scott. Kyle Corver, he's checked in for Kent Bazemore. And the captain subbed in for T. On the court for Atlanta. On the wings, Corver and Carroll. Horford is out there with Elton Brand. And it's Chen in at the point. Now here's Bynum after the miss from Chen. Oh, and here comes Corver all alone. That pushes it to double digits. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for Atlanta. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. And we're also seeing a lot of fast break hoops, so this team doing a nice job getting easy points. Smith drawn the double team. Bynum drives in. And here's Jennings outside. Can't hit. And Atlanta will go the other way with it. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Corver kicks to Carroll. Dishes to Horford. The feed to Brand. And he gets the bucket. And the Hawks lead by 13. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and keep scoring points. Keep it going. Yeah, not a lot you can do defensively when they continue to get the ball inside and get these easy shots. Bynum, that's blocked. Second chance shot. Here's Drummond. And can't hit the shot, but they're saying he got hacked, so he'll head to the free throw line. Pretty bad defense letting the offense get right to the rim, but uh, smart play to foul once he was there. But you know what's going to happen, and they sent a message right there. Nothing easy inside. The Pistons shooting their 7th and 8th free throw attempts for the game right here. Well, the season numbers for this club, uh, really low. I mean, this is something that the team has been focusing on. They've got to improve. Yeah, it's been a very frustrating season for them in that regard, guys. Andre Drummond still just 21 years of age. The first one-and-done player in UConn's storied basketball history. And the Pistons staff say he's a sponge. Whether it's breaking down video with assistance or honing his skills, he is really a hard worker. Pistons trail by 14. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. It's Bynum with the drive. Kicks it out to Jennings. Hits the target from 18 feet. Jennings has got eight. Here's the captain. Last time out, he had 38 points. And Drummond came in as the youngest player in the league, Clark. Uh, certainly a pretty well skill one. Yeah, but you could see the potential. And the biggest thing there, Kevin, was that 
He had a willingness to work. He came in early his rookie year to train, and last season he leaned on the new rookies to do the same thing, showing some leadership. Here's Jennings after the made shot from Chen. Jennings dishes to Meeks. It's back to Jennings. Six on the shot clock. Again, Jennings missing. He has not been on his game, and, you know, their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not helped the situation. Tries again. That's good. Jennings has got four points this quarter. 43 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Here's Chen. Rebound by Smith. Very porous defense down there by the hoop. He probably should make that one. Here's Meeks. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Smith drives in. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Even with the D lurking, he made it look easy with the soft finger roll. The Hawks leading by 10. Here's Chen. Takes the elbow jumper and trains it. The captain's got 12 in the game. And, fellas, in this quarter, he's improved on what was already a very good performance in period number one. Jennings kicks to Meeks. Just his first attempt. Goes back up. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. The Pistons have hit four of eight from the free throw line so far. Coach hits 50%. Not great work there. That one is off. So both teams making some changes here. He doesn't get the second one. And so that brings the first half to a close. Hawks lead by 12. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke standing by on the sideline. Doris? Josh, what do you need to do in the second half as a team to come away with this win tonight? The first five minutes is going to be big for us. We got to go out with the same intensity and energy that we did in the second quarter. We got to withstand it for two more quarters and hopefully come out with a win. Josh, thanks for the time. Good luck in the second half. Guys, back to you. Thank you, Doris. And folks, don't go away after the break. We'll see you right back here for the start of the second half in the third quarter. Okay, guys, solid play so far. I like what I'm seeing. But just a few things to talk about before the second half. Our passing has been very precise. I'll give you guys a lot of credit for that. We've been extremely smart with the ball, basically haven't given them any gifts whatsoever. If there was a real positive to be found, it was in transition. We made some really quick, sharp outlet passes and got some easy buckets on the break. That's where they might be most vulnerable. And let's talk about our pace. We need to start the third quarter with patience and poise. I want to see us work for those good looks, careful passing, and smart decision making. That's it for now, guys. Let's go get that W. Welcome back, everyone, to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the third and fourth quarters. You have to like what we're seeing from the captain. Yeah, he played a very mature first half offensively, just finding gaps and making good decisions, getting into the defense and knocking down shots. Well, the way he played that first half, that's exactly what we're talking about when we say offensive efficiency.
Here's the captain. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All filled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. And Detroit looking at who they've got. Josh Smith and Greg Monroe at the three and four. Jennings and Meeks in the backcourt. And it's Drummond in at the five. Roaming the paint. The Hawks have had seven opportunities at the free throw line and made good on five of them. Free throw drop for Al Horford. Al Horford, 6'10", 250. Really a natural power forward who's been asked to play at center for his whole career. He's shown himself willing to battle bigger players inside, but you got to think he'd welcome a chance to switch back to the four spot. Here's Chen. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. The captain's got 14. Pistons trail by 16. And a chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Hey, guys. The captain in their last game against the Bucks put on a show. He ended up with 38 points, and he also added a few assists as he set up his teammates as well. It was a matchup that he took over, and he seemed to be able to do whatever he wanted out there. We'll see if he can sustain it, Kevin. All right, Doris, thank you. He played at a level that very few players are capable of playing, Clark. Yeah, I agree. I was just glad I got a chance to witness it. It's always such a special night when a player of his caliber gets so locked in and focused. And, you know, in an 82-game season with so much talent, every once in a while, everything's going to click. And that was definitely the case that night. Here's Smith after the main shot from Chen. Smith inside. Soft touch off the glass. Smith's got his second bucket of the night. The Hawks leading by 14. From about 19 feet, no good from Chen. For Detroit, they've gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Up top, Jennings. He's covered by Chen. Jennings drives in. Good work defensively by Horford. Here's the captain. He's guarded by Jennings. And there it is again. Nice make there from Chen. The captain's got six points in the quarter. He's created some good opportunities for himself and made the most of them. Now let's take a look at the teams that have been holding their opponents to the fewest points in the last ten games. The Hawks, number one. The teams they've faced over the last 10 have to be wondering how long this brutal defense is going to last. There's no let up in these teams. They play with tenacity throughout. Two minutes into the second half of play now. So for the Pistons, their last game a loss to the Heat in Miami. And guys, they were really plagued by foul trouble in that one. Forced them into some makeshift lineups late in the game. And Steve, the frustrating part for me in that situation is you can defend without foul and just move your feet and don't use your hands. Shot clock at five. Jennings can't get it to go. Misfires again, and the ball just refuses to cooperate with. It's a tough day so far. The shot's good from Chen. Really hard to find fault with anything he's doing this quarter. At least at the offensive end. Pistons trail by 18. Jennings passes to Meeks. He feeds it to Smith. Gets the front of the rim and out. For Atlanta, they've gone 4-6 or six from the field since the start of the third. Carroll passes to Chen. In Atlanta again with the bucket. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. Yeah, they're making the right play. They're working together, and they're just looking for the best shot they can every possession. Now here's Jennings. He's got 10. Looked like he rushed that one, guys. The defense was out of position. He was wide open, just couldn't take advantage. Here's Brand, and he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. Well, as they continue to dominate, you wonder just how much higher this lead might get. I think it really could get out of hand, and you can credit their defense just as much as their offense for that. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. 
Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. They recover it, and that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. Hawks foul. First personal foul. Team's first. A uh, different look here for Detroit. Singler, he's checked in for Drummond. Caldwell Pope comes in for Meeks. And it's Bynum in for Brandon Jennings. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Paul Millsap's checked in for Horford. Scott comes in for Elton Brand. Kent Bazemore's checked in for Damari Carroll. And it's Teague in for Kyle Corver. Good. It seems like so many teams try to ignore that mid-range jumper, but they're using it well, and it's opening up their offense for them. Has definitely given the defender something extra to have to worry about. Now here's Bynum. Wyatt so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Teague, the pass to Chen. The dish now to Millsap. Fires from 14. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. And it's now 26 points for the captain. The Pistons shooting pretty terrible here in the third quarter at around 30%. Line him with it. Now guarded by Chen. Here's the screen. Singler against Scott. Singler dishes to Monroe. And again, it's the Pistons missing. Well, he's been trying to add that mid-range shot to his arsenal, but it still isn't there. Here's Chen. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Yeah, no excuses there. Got a really good look at the basket after being freed up by the pick. We say it all the time. The execution was excellent. The result not as good, but good ball movement anyway. Now here's Bynum. Singler outside. Lent it go with a three. And the shot is good. Singler's got himself going there. His first points of the game in the deep ball. The Hawks leading by 20. Feeds it to Bazemore. Passes to T. Puts one up from 19. And again, the basket is good from Chen. The captain's got 28 points for the game. And, well, Detroit shooting about 35% from the floor. Not much falling for them. Line him with it. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Smith up top. Lock at six. Tries it from 19. Scott pulls it in. Scott's got his sixth rebound on the night. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Over to the left wing. T kicks to Scott. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Baysmore gets the bucket. For three. Six seconds left here in the third quarter. Got it up. He got it up that time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. The Hawks on top, opening up a huge gap. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from the Palace of Auburn Hills. On tap this Wednesday, April 1st, Joe Kim Noah and the Chicago Bulls hit the road to do battle with the Milwaukee Bucks. Be there. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. Really excellent feed here, and I know we're used to seeing this guy score, but he is no slouch at creating passes and opportunities for his teammates, and he showcases that skill right here on that replay. Get up. You're going in. Here we go. Detroit with the ball. They'll be off to Charlotte for a game against the Hornets. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for them. Well, you know that Charlotte game has a lot of attention on it, guys. On the court right now for the Hawks. 
Carroll at the three and Millsap at the four. Shelvin Mack is out there with Schroeder, and it's Payne in at the center. Now here's Jennings, four on the shot clock. And he's finally able to knock one down. Drummond's checked in for the Pistons. Jody Meeks comes in for Brandon Jennings. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Al Horford is checked in for Payne. Brand comes in for Paul Millsap. Kyle Korver, he's checked in for Shelvin Mack. And the captain subbed in for Schroeder. Atlanta's gone 3-7 of tonight from three-point territory. Chen passes to Brand. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. T.J. Augustine picks one up. Just a, an amazing game for the captain. 28 points and also an assist. I had no idea we'd be seeing a performance like this one today. Totally dominant. I mean, pure domination. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Hawks. They've knocked down plenty of mid-range jumpers in this one. That's been big for them. Now their passing also continues to be outstanding, Clark. In the second half, we were really seeing a good, efficient offense as a result of that ball movement. No free throws good from Chen. And if they continue to shoot well from the free throw line like they are, I mean, their lead is going to be here. That's not an overstatement. They've literally not missed a single foul shot this half. Now here is Monroe. Can't hit the short-range fadeaway. It's a plus-five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior, no question. And that's, uh, I think, the main reason they have this lead. Brand, good! Did you see the defense get caught standing around that time, giving up an easy second-chance bucket? Simply need more of an effort on the boards there, Steve. Augustine with it. He's guarded by Chen. Augustine dishes to Monroe. And good! Coming in on the assist by D.J. Augustine. Augustine's got three assists tonight. And the pass to Carroll. Here's Chen. That one a little long. Well, I tell you what, that's too good a look to pass up there. Even though it didn't go, that's one you got to take. And Augustine kicks to Meeks. No good on the three. For Atlanta, they've gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Here is Corver. Kicks it to Carroll. Pass to Horford. From 10 feet out, off the left rim and out. Detroit's gone one of two from three point range here in the fourth. There's a minute 34 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Now here is Augustine. Defense is right there. Ball's knocked loose. Out of bounds. Pistons ball as Detroit keeps possession. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Hawks. And they could be long today, Steve. That's right. This was a team performing to its uh, Clark fullest capability. Yeah, and a very satisfying win for him, too. A game to remember, and on the other side, definitely one you want to forget as soon as possible. And on the year now, tonight's impending victory will push their win total to 47. This will be their third win in four tries against this team. Not too shabby. To say the least, you could see how much they wanted this win. For two very familiar opponents, a win in the season series carries a lot of extra weight. And you have to look back at this and see what a huge game it's been for the captain. He was extremely efficient offensively, getting looks, knocking down big shots all game long. Shooting for Detroit. You know, the issue really with Atlanta this year and moving forward isn't that they're a bad team. They've just been kind of stuck in that middle road of mediocrity. They're competitive, play hard, and they're hoping to find a way to get to the next level now. Kent Bazemore has checked in for Kyle Korver. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. Here's the captain. He's guarded by Bynum. That drops. 34 points for the captain. 
And with Atlanta, as you said, for a while now they've been a playoff caliber team, but making that next step into the elite class of the East has been hard. Now here's Bynum. After Jarebko. He dishes it to Caldwell Pope. Detroit, no good that time either. And some of it, Clark, for Atlanta making the jump is personnel. It's never easy to get a franchise player without a high draft. And in that sense, Kevin, they are a bit in danger of becoming a treadmill team. But they have a good base right now. And I think they just need to continue to keep adding talent and have the talent they have continue to develop. Plenty of daylight on that show. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Chen. The nine-footers on the mark. The captain's got 36. And the crowd here, of course, not happy about the outcome. But you know what? We saw a team tonight that came in prepared to do battle on the road. And they clearly wanted the win. You know, they were determined to steal this game. And they showed it, Steve. Played harder and got the job done. And so it's the Hawks taking care of business in this one. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night, and these guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be. Well, this is one of those dreamlike games for a coach. Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Brew, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll see you next time. And now, our Jordan player of the game, the captain. So that's how it is, huh? What the heck is this? Yo, what are you doing on my phone, man? You ain't my mom. What are you doing giving up on this team? Planning your next season before this season is even over? Chill, man. This is idle talk. You know how agents are. They always trying to feel involved. I ain't giving up on nothing. For real. Hey, I know this team gave me my first shot, and I'm going to keep working my tail off of them until they tell me to go away. All right? I'm here with y'all. All right. Just make sure you don't leave no bonehead texts out in public where everybody can see them. You were getting hammered on the boards last game. Today I want to work on getting a body on people, boxing out, and exploding to the boards. Got it? Let's go.
Now listen, this isn't college, this isn't Europe, this isn't the D-League, this is the NBA. And if you want to last in this league, you're going to have to do a lot more work than you did today. The players that stick around are the ones who work the hardest. 
so you better get after it next game because your effort and practice today was unacceptable. Now get out of here before I really lose my temper. I can't believe it's actually happened. Man, what are you babbling about now? You've earned a spot in the starting lineup and continue to make plays. I like what you're bringing to the mix, but only time will tell you if you can produce consistently over the long haul. Yeah, I just got to keep working, and who knows, maybe this team will be yours someday. I'm just happy to be a part of this team, be a part of something special. That's the kind of humility that will serve you well, my man.